Next up, we have Hive. Come on down. Hi, I'm Rena Bain, and I just found out I have a disease, and I think everybody here might have it now, too. It's called flooded inbox syndrome. You sent out an email, and now you're getting hundreds, maybe thousands of emails in your inbox, all from spammers and scammers trying to exploit you. You have so many in your inbox right now that you don't know what the good ones or the bad ones are anymore. <laughs> That's where Hive comes in. Hive helps protect email privacy, basically. All you have to, um, we, have a, um, <laughs> we have a web application and also a web extension that all you have to do is log into, and then you can create virtual email addresses on the fly. We like to call them drones, and basically they act as placeholder email addresses for your real email address, and it forwards the correct email to you or the ones that you don't want to have to deal with, it pushes them away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you finish, but right now I'm a scammer, and this is kryptonite for me. You're going to ruin my whole industry. I, take all, I make all my money from phishing and scams. Mute. All you have to do is press a mute button, and then it just lets you tell those scammers to buzz off. And then your inbox is a little bit cleaner at this point, and it gives you some peace of mind. And to Hive, that's as sweet as honey. And so then there's... But there's phishing, see? And right now, phishing is 50% of all transactions are bank-related. What we're doing is that's how we make the money, because I get your bank account. Give me that. Here at Hive, we're trying to protect you from people, like that scammer over there. Make sure that he doesn't exploit your bank information or any other information, and make sure that he, you don't get the email that he's sending you. Oh, and now... Um, right now, we're buzzing up a storm in terms of traction. We have 200 plus beta signups right now for our application. We also have a letter of intent from a B2B cloud service provider, and we just released our Chrome extension app, which is really awesome. Please download it now and make sure you don't have to deal with that guy. So, all this traction wouldn't have been made possible without our amazing team. We have a great team composition. We have the know-how to make this application and the market background in order to understand what the problem is and how to fix it. And we got great social media platforms in order to bring it out to people so that they can interact with it and get the benefits from it. And as well as the team, but there's lots of competition out there. There are fake email generators, 10-minute email, Mailinator. There's even programs like No Before and Sonos that pay up to $60 a user per month just to teach people how to avoid people like me. What makes you think you're any different? We're different from, this, from the competition right now because most of those have emails that they disappear within 10 minutes. Ours are permanent. And you can reply to them and interact with the people that you actually want to talk to and make sure that you don't interact with those guys. We have sender authentication that makes sure that if you're interacting with somebody and you get spammed to that drone address, basically you know that they can't be trusted because they're sending your email without your permission. We also have a lot of V-puns because the market needs V-puns. So, so in order to go to the market, we're planning on using a freemium model in the first three years, and then after that, we're going to a B2B white labeling solution where we want to focus on banks to help people and save their financial information and not have that exploited. We'll start with small banks and then move to medium-sized banks and try and get an 80% profit margin off of that. So everybody, sign up for Hive and create a Hive account so you can have your own Hive and make sure you don't have to deal with that guy anymore. Now for a live demo. David over here wants to contact the airlines. What's up? Technical difficulties? All right, let's use the video. Because I got hive. All right, David over here wants to contact the airlines to let them know that he wants to change his seat. 
but doesn't want to give them his work or personal email because he's afraid they'll get spammed or exploited. With our one-click sign-on, he signs into his personal account in a jiffy. Right on our dashboard, he can add a drone, and he can even add his work email in a category so he can finally, uh, quickly find these records for his financial records. Right here, you can see it's redirecting to a drone email, and then you can just simply hit reply. You can, he can enter in the airline information, the email, and subject line, and a quick message to let them know that he wants to change his seat so he can have a little bit more room so he can get some work done while he's on the flight. And David can rest assured that he won't receive spam while he's on the go. As you can see, they received the email within seconds, and the virtual email is there to protect him against spam and exploits. Our worker bees work hard to keep him safe. And while he's traveling, he can even hit mute so that he doesn't see, receive any more unwanted airline advertisements. Hit edit, and if he wants it gone for good, he can delete it. And it's like it never existed in the first place. And we can tell those scammers to buzz out of here. At Hive, we believe in making unsubscribe mean unsubscribe once again. Thank you for that. So I wanted to hear a little bit more about your sales and marketing strategy, specifically on the customer side. I'd love to hear how you're mapping out potential customers, how you're prioritizing which ones to target, and then how you're efficiently getting to them to sell your service. Thank you. That's a great question. So a go-to-market strategy for years one through three is a customer-focused mission. So we're actually approaching a lot of the security market, um, and what we're doing is trying to incentivize demand through that freemium model to the financial industry. So as this becomes more popular and the banks are receiving Hive emails, they'll start to react to that part. Um, I'm actually right now working on trying to get a spot at DEF CON August 8th to present this project as well. Could you talk a little bit more, it, to go from freemium as a consumer to jumping to a white label with a bank is a, actually a pretty big jump. Yep. Um, and I know my bank has its own kind of internal authentication system. Can you talk a little bit more about how you, uh, you know, your plan for Abs Absolutely. For that? No, that, that's really some of the secret sauce that's really hard to put into a pitch. Um, what we're looking at is, so if you know a little bit about security, there's PGP and GPG. GPG. Uh, and really when you start looking at like encrypted signature, and it's been around for a long time, but it's very hard to do. And so if we create a point-to-point -point email communication where only one email can talk to only one email and everything else is spam, you've, you've created that secure tunnel through randomized email addresses. That system itself can be, be much more secure, but then once you have that, the banks no longer have to send you that code. They have that direct tunnel because you already have that direct authentication, so it actually eliminates the need for some of the, some of the stuff that's going on with two-factor authentication to be able to create those channels and tunnels. I get how you can help me, but what are you going to do to make me trust you with handling my email? I didn't hear that in the pitch. Like, how, like, why should I trust you? Like, what is your security? What, what is your, you know, I would like to hear more about that. Absolutely, and that's really where. Um, in privacy as a whole. No, absolutely, and I think that's really where um, the open source model, the, the, the security, going reaching out to the security community first with white papers and really um, putting a lot of the stuff out there showing how this works so that it can be rigorously tested. I mean, like I'm saying, I'm going to the biggest hacker convention in the, in the States in about two weeks to present this. And so in that process, I'm gonna bulletproof it. And so that's part of where the backing get is. You, you, get all the, you get all the people out there. And, and believe me, I have been an email marketer for many years. I know what some of these people do to sell email addresses. In fact, I actually scraped every single email address here from the Slack channel and sent everyone here an email. <laughs> Talk about trust. <laughs> and, and, we, and, we also, and we also save no data, and we plan on releasing some white papers to prove that, an academic source. Thank you. So, just to clarify, is your is your market the is your market the consumer or the security market? Our, our, actually, it's a little bit of both. What we're planning to do is uh, capitalize on something called the consumerization of IT, where people now use stuff at home and they bring it to the office and they go, "We want to use this there." So, we're going to use uh, consumer appeal 
to get businesses to buy into it. But at the same time, we are talking to people like Cloud Plus, who are a federated cloud identity provider, who will uh, provide it to their customers uh, on an enterprise basis. So we're working, we're actually working, working it from both ends. And how do you look at, um, I guess, like other email, like superhuman and other copiers who are trying to target um, like a, the similar problem? Like they actually would work in synergy. Basically, our email system is kind of like when you were in grade school and you didn't want to, you weren't talking to somebody and you went through a go-between to do it. Oh, you know, hey, Davey, could you talk to Johnny, who I'm not talking to, and tell him he's a poopy head? That kind of thing. No further questions, we have a song for you. All right. Uh, I was gonna get some spam, but then I got hived. It's <laughs> gonna get my inbox jammed, but then I got hived. My email's really queen, and you know why? Yeah, hey, cause I got hived, cause I got hived, cause I got hived. Thank you, Startup Thank Weekend! You. Startup Bus! <laughs> <laughs>